All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shemel, Shah, by Shemel, Kaku, Dash, the bonus of the apostle and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, to all the Akimah that pushing the word of sincerity and the truth. Yeah, this is just another lesson. The brother brought us all, you know, Atlanta, Great Millstone, Atlanta camp. And um, I just want to, you know, share, share a few words on this uh, article about why are so many people that have recovered from the coronavirus testing positive again. You know, it's this, you know, you see the date, April 6th. Um, you know, before I, I, I go into it, um, you know, through the, through the spirit, you know, like Apostle Star was speaking about, you know, just the theories and ideas, you know, really this, this, um, COVID-19 has been, um, you know, sh sh shown to see, shown to be man-made, you know, you actually have an image with a 5G technology symbol and the COVID-19 are damn near mutual, you know, um, this is government sponsored, so to speak, government created. You know, but the proof of that you have movies that spoke about the coronavirus before the coronavirus actually even came out. You know, the coincidence you had the Simpsons, you had all kind of television, certain television shows that actually showed the coronavirus. And um, this virus is is acting very um very different, you know, than um you know other viruses and things of that nature. You know. I seen one video that the nurse was saying, you know, how can a true virus actually even live on the surface for that span of time? You know, it's just speaking about how really this thing seems like it was created by the government. You know, it um it's created to um you know damage the masses of the people and not only um you know jack the the, the masses of the people up because Esau has a plan of population reduction, but to enforce the new world order, new world system. Because now what are they doing there? Um, Making it where it's, you can't purchase non-essential personnel, you know, uh, uh, seeds uh, to plant, things of that nature. Now you can't go city to city. You can't, you know, the, the level of boundaries and restrictions is at an all-time high. It's most people, you know, haven't witnessed, well, all people haven't witnessed no event like this in real life, you know. And I'm I'm, I'm just going to look a, read a little bit of an article, and I'm, you know, of course, through the Spirit, just keep speaking point for point because this this thing is a enigma you know you know which we all know it's, a, it's through plain plain as data this uh is this virus is created you know by the heavenly father using the left hand side to to push the plans of esau for him to really stick his foot in his own mouth the scripture says when he's about to fill his belly then shall the lord uh rain plagues on you know and his belly being full for, or fulfilled is that new world order agenda you know and he's trying to put the people in, in a certain place, you know, through what? Auto ab KO, you know, pressure from above, pressure from below to implement a new system. So it says the mystery surrounding this COVID-19 pandemic just keeps getting deeper and deeper. When you catch a virus, you are not supposed to test positive, fully recover and test negative, And then sometime later, test start testing positive again. But this is actually happen, happening in an alarming number of cases, and scientists are absolutely baffled by this. The information that I am about to share with you is quite disturbing, and hopefully scientists will eventually be able to explain to us precisely why this is taking place. Yeah, and I haven't even heard this on CNN. I haven't heard it on NBC, any news or media outlets uh, speak on this. I, did, I was, um, you know, unaware that people that, you know, overcome their COVID-19, uh, the virus actually re-contracts it, you know. But I'm going to go a little bit more into it. It says, on Monday, headlines all over the global globe breathlessly declared that 51 coronavirus patients in South Korea's city of Daegu had tested positive again after supposedly fully recovering. Yeah, and you have all kind of individuals speaking out, you know, that, you know, first off, this, this, this uh, pandemic, It's gonna be out for a little for for us, you know, months. You know, I've seen this one doctor. He said it's gonna be many months, and they they they're not gonna uh, lift the system up until, you know, people are fully, you know, un unable to contract, or or really when this disease this virus is is fully cleaned out out of the earth. But how is it gonna be fully cleaned if you got people that's retesting positive for it again? And you have, you know, even people that's getting quarantined, you know, you know, still catching the virus, you know, especially here in America. America is the epicenter, and you, and um, 
you know, you go to the grocery stores, you know, the food products and things that you touch, you know, everything you come in contact with, you know, you know, it it, it can possibly be, um, you know, areas where, where the uh, virus may lay. Because what do they say? You know, it, it's not airborne. Then they say it is airborne. Then they say, okay, it's just for, for uh, you receive it through coughing and air for a number of minutes to, you know, a uh, number of hours. You know, so wear your face mask. Then they saying the face mask actually don't work. You know, uh, the, the face masks are putting people in a, in a frenzy or in a panic. And it's not, uh, you know, actually going to relieve you of your symptoms. You know, so it's all kind of, you know, different perspectives on this. And we all know that it's all to push Esau's agenda, man. Esau has, has an agenda that he's been fighting tooth and nail for 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 decades centuries and he's getting to that point where you know he's he's basically you know at the at the end you know because what does the scripture speak about pestilence and famines and things of that nature what the most i speaks about these events to take place and he's using the sword of it of himself you know to, to do the plans which is the left hand side which is esau esau knowing the sword says, fears have been raised that the coronavirus may be able to remain in the body and reactive later after 51 re recovered patients tested positive again. And um, they're speaking about the test could have possibly been faulty, but it doesn't really sound as such. You know, well, I'm going to jump down. It says the 51 cases were identified, which I just read. Then I'm going to jump a little bit. It says the center said it did not believe that patients had been reinfected, but that the virus had remained at undetectable levels in their cells. And later reactivate it. But of course the truth is that they don't really know why this is happening. And similar cases have been popping up all over China for quite some time. In fact, second time infections have been documented in many regions. You see, so, matter of fact, I'm just going to read a little bit more. You know, it says, as China released more patients who have recovered from the coronavirus, there are an increasingly increasing number who are testing positive for the second time. The state council's joint prevention and control mechanism said last Saturday that second-time infections have been reported in many regions, including Guangdong, Sikkim, Hunan, Hubei province, where Wuhan is the capital city. So, you know, like I said, this which through the spirit, I believe this is man-made, and and it's very it's a very awkward uh, virus. You know, it doesn't even move like previous viruses and things of that nature. Second time contractions, and they're speaking about, you know, how the Wuhan, the uh, coronavirus um, is um, mutating. You know, it's mutating, and, and um, you know, I haven't seen nothing recently again on on it. But it was, I remember it was, they were speaking about how it's actually developing. You know, so if it gets to that, to that point, what Esau is gonna gonna do? You're gonna have to, like Bill Gates said, you're gonna have to get digital certificates. You know, you're gonna have to get mandatory vaccines, forceful vaccines. You know, each and every citizen has to have a vaccine in order to work in the workforce, in order to do that, you know, to, to actually, you know, be in hospitals, in order to travel. And I'm not saying that's exactly how it's going to go, but how things are looking, it seems like that's the times that we're living in. Because this is a dystopian reality, you know. You go to your Walmart, you go to your, um, your different super centers to buy waters and your goods, and, you know, this thing looks like something off of a damn sci-fi movie, man. You know, you go to you go to to uh, work. You know, everybody has these damn face masks on. You know, and and Esau, like I said, pushes these plans. There's plenty of movies that show, you know, end times and how the government controls. And then now you having what drones? You having drones roaming around and um, identifying people. You know, you have uh, uh, enforcement that has legislation to, to kick in your doors and yank out people whoever they they desire to. You know, on top of the fact that you can't go city to city, you you have curfew, you have lockdowns, you know, you have people that's trying to do bank runs and trying to get all their money out, and the government is not even allowing it. Rationing of food, rationing of products, you know, and then you you if you you don't comply with the orders that's presented, and you get locked up around infective uh infect infectious patient patients within the prison system, you know. So it says. Needless to say, it is likely to have a tremendous impact on public policy if scientists are able to confirm that second-time infections can happen very rapidly following a full recovery. 
And so it is absolutely imperative that scientists get to the bottom of this mystery as rapid as possible. So far, researchers in China are reporting that between 3 and 10% of cured patients became reinfected shortly after fully recovering from the virus. The following comes from the Fox News. Yeah, so, you know, I, I was going to basically reiterate the point. You know, brothers, if they uh, desire, of course, you can finish going into this article. Uh, just like I was speaking about the drone. The drone flying over Manhattan. On Saturday to uh, maintain social distances. We live in a new Now, doesn't that seem like something off of a, a, a damn, you know, dystopian movie? One of those end time movies like Divergent or Hunger Games. You know, you'll watch it on TV and you didn't believe, you don't believe, or a lot of these individuals didn't believe that these things were to take place. But now it's taking place, man. Because what the scripture says that in the end it shall speak. These are prophecies coming to pass, and we're living in the, um, you know, we're living in the time where the devil's gonna come down with great wrath. You know, institution heavier policies, more draconian legislation. To keep people in a uh, perpetual bind, and uh, you know, keep you, keep you, uh, uh locked down in the system, because with this new enforced plans that they, you know, that they're gonna uh, push, it's gonna make it extremely hard for Jake to um, you know, to to move, you know, to do what you want freely, so to speak, and that's like I said, that's all prophecy, you know, the scriptures, matter of fact. And this is for these jakes that, you know, have a trust in this system. You shouldn't trust anything from this damn white man, you know. Sirach 12 and 10, never trust thine enemy for like his iron rust of so is his wickedness. Yeah, and you'll see these press conference, press conferences from Donald Trump, Dr. Fauci, you know, um, you know, and the rest of the staff. And then you'll, you'll, you'll listen to them and you believe that, um, you know, they're, they're out for the well-being of um, the citizens, which... Even if they truly are or aren't, there's there's men that stand up above them, which are the elites, the Illuminati, the international bankers are, who truly uh, want full totalitarian control, and they don't ma they don't care about bankrupting the economy. You know, they don't care about people getting sick and dying off in droves. Part of the new world order is m the masses of people dying off. So don't trust in this this, this snake the snaky ass devil, man. Don't listen to what he's saying and think that all right, everything is going to be all right. You know, Trump speaking about the government is going to be open by Easter. Easter's around the corner, man. And, and America, is, is, the cases are jumping like hell, man. Over 300,000 cases. By the time Easter hits, you know, it's, it's going to be damn near half a million cases, possibly. It's almost 400,000. It might, it might hit 400,000 by the end of the week. You know? And, and it's not slowing down. The momentum is not slowing down. It's actually speeding up. That's why we have to trust in, in the Lord, trust in Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah in these times. Because what the devil tells you is all a lie. You know, you believe in that everything is going to be all right. And, um, you know, being in that you know, kumbaya spirit, you know, that's the thing of the past. We got to deal with reality. You know, the real thing is, you know, this devil is, is plaguing the world. You know, he has an agenda where he wants to fully control uh, a Two thirds, two thirds, and one third the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, and make it where you have no say so, you have no rights, you know. Ezekiel seven to six, and end is come, the end is come, and watch it for thee, behold, is come. Yeah, and we're living in the end times, and the Lord said that these things were to, were to occur at the end. Second is the sixteenth chapter, second is the fifteenth chapter, the Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, Luke the twenty first chapter, you know, as well as a slew of others. You know, spoke about the, the the beast in Daniel, you know, which was known to uh, conquer the people by his his strong teeth, and through his teeth he's he's been destroying. But the Lord is gonna raise us up, you know. And I just want to just do a little something just to speak on this, that article, you know, and um, you know, pray that the Lord protects us, us brothers, starting out with the head apostles on down, protect us in these times. So I want to end by giving all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemal, Shabbat, Shemakar, Kodash, Dabonis, the Apostle, and Elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, Maki.